greetings and hello. This here is Groovy Ev. Well, Everett Praver, otherwise known as the Ancient Spirit Rocket. Tonight, long awaited, I've been pondering a lot of this over for many, many years, all the way back into the 90s, etc. But here we have, let me explain for you. When people you know, now, in these, especially this like 2017, more and more people talking about, uh, in uh, openly talking about uh, what they considered aliens, which is kind of very disrespectful, you know, coming to Earth. And that, what the fact is, let's put the brakes on here and let me explain to you from a person who's been off planet many, many hundreds of times in his lifetime and out of body experience, including being, let's start from the beginning here. If you look back into history, let's look back into the BCs, when people coming from the, the Mideast were, were, were traveling to, to the Far East, when they encountered each other's well, here was a situation to say, well, these people are like alien to us. Who are these beings? They look, they, they're, you know, their color is different. You know, they, you know, their, their things are different. And there was a lot of disharmony. And unfortunately, because the barbarism within them would rise up because of their fear of change, there would be bloodshed on both sides many, many times than there was not. And this has gone all through history. When uh, the early Vikings came came to uh, North America, it was like, hey, you're really different than us. You know, there was problems. And when the French came, when uh, uh, then in the other variations of Caucasians came to North America, you know, South America, and that, whoa, you're different. You're like alien to us. But now, here, speeding forward into 2017, going in 18, we have to be able to be mature enough to understand what this means in our multi-dimensional lives, in this multi-dimensional multi-universe, which I've talked about so many times in the videos I've, I've released under the title of the Ancient Spirit Trilaka. All right. When these off-world Beings. I will not call them aliens because this is very disrespectful. When these off-world beings, whether they be interdimensional, whether they be uh, transdimensional, whether they be a uh, different vibratory rate than us, you know, start more interacting with us, little things we need to be able to grasp. Yes, they are different, but to them, we are really different. To a great number of them, to us, we'll be like primitives. <laughs> no, in comparative to their understanding. Now, I, I've seen this in many times in, in uh, out-of-body experiences of when I was taken to other places. Uh, the same thing over and over and over again, but in different variations and different perspectives, different percentages, uh, be because uh, the, the expression of variances in the multidimensional multi-universe is virtually limitless. But let us get back to Earth here. Their understandings of what Great Spirit is, or as uh, believers of different beliefs and cults here on this planet would say God uh, would, would be could be very different in fact you find it is a lot different that doesn't necessarily mean that it is of lesser value or greater value it is a different value for us to be able to explore without first judging because you know in my travels across the multi dimensional multi universe I have found, and as I talk in the videos, that there are thousands, and incredible thousands, of different variations of beings. 
in just this multi-dimension universe. I'm not talking about others, but just this one alone. And there, these 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 beings they have different understandings, different values, different qualities, uh, pros versus cons. But for one race here, Earth humans, to say that we have the only knowledge of what is good for us, that makes us look to other beings to be. Well, should we interact with the earth beings because they cannot uh, grow to be able to understand, to be able to uh, properly look at this value versus this value and make decisions? Or, or is this going to be a species that is our way or no way and as we get into space we'll just kill everybody that doesn't put their hand on the book? What makes us any different than our own history that has killed hundreds of millions of peoples in this planet's history? All right. So look at it this way, please. We're, as these are beings are becoming more and more uh, you know, uh, enter into our, 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 our living uh, experience on this planet, ask questions but be able to raise your own vibrations yourself to be able to encompass their energy levels which you're going to find so many times or of a higher vibratory expression than ours then because all right, this is an inter interesting uh, scenario uh, there, there were decades ago when I was uh, interacting with some darker energy beings as I was removing them from a, a piece of property uh, by request of, of, of an owner, they, they said to me, they said, Mr. F, we're not leaving because you studied ancient scripture. We're not leaving because you studied this value or you studied that value. We're leaving because we understand that you understand that under, you know becoming wise in in understanding you know that they, they, they say very specifically we don't care if you can re, uh, if any of you humans can uh, recite a couple hundred verses of scripture it has no value and you're not going to see it having value with other beings in other worlds to mention the frequency either because we can use a recorder for that. It has no exchange for us. However, when you come under the understanding for the wisdom to be uh, that, that energy that's within the knowledge to flow it within the body so it, in, so it mates up with your individual spirit and this comes out into a much stronger expression of your inner spirit as it is fully awakening into a higher degree with the reality that this outer expression we call the human body is part of this most of them do not want to deal with they rather go with messing with some other weekly all right so in the times that we're in, in 2017, going in 18 and such, for us to be able to, as we're dealing with beings, being uh, off-world beings, asking questions and using, as we develop our spiritual discernment, as we d develop the, the, the quietness within uh, that has been kept asleep, to be able to discern uh off-world beings who are deceiving versus those who have something to share that is uh, proper, something to share that is of, uh, of value, or equal value, or something that can enhance us or even be able to show us uh, faults that we need to work on so we can work in our vibratory uh, ways and means within our lives. Yeah. It's, it's fascinating 
in the, the fact that uh, all this is coming up finally. And we're, we're getting in a situation where the inner parts of the government are backpedaling more and more into not that it doesn't exist, but now they're trying to use the, uh, what would you call those, the, uh, the trolls on, on the internet to spread disinformation among all the real information that's coming up that is actually truthful. This here is healthy. This here is healthy because it's showing that once we're getting closer and closer to that really truth, that the darkness starts backpedaling. So this means that we're getting closer and closer. Right? This is this is important. Uh, use discernment. Develop that inner intuition with the inner with your inner expression, or your inner spirit, your outer expression, and your inner expression, which is your spirit. Develop this more and more so you can uh, begin to interact with these beings in a more conscious manner. And this conscious bit, now this here is important. I've talked about this in videos years ago, that when you are being taken out of, out of body to a situation, when you're being transported into a different station, le learn to develop that that intuition and that connection. So when you're in a different area, you can use your conscience intellect to turn and to look, to, to, uh, to taste, feel, uh, see, to witness, to perceive, and lock it. So when you come back, it's layered very, very deep into the memory that even if they try to erase it or, or cover it over or uh, dismiss it, well, oh, I must have had a nightmare or, oh, what a vivid dream that it actually wasn't. Bring, bring this out because the more you can log these real memories, the more... The, the outer expression, which is lied to all the time by the hidden governments and many of the beliefs of uh, uh, religious and uh, cults to try to deceive you, to keep you from the truth, okay? There is, as I've talked earlier, thousands and thousands of different variations of different beings a good good percentage of them which are good beings all right there is a lot of darkness in the multi-dimensional multi-universe there's a lot of really evil scenarios which are not related to each other in different parts all right understand this however there is a good percentage of different types of beings who are good the difference is, and, and this is funny, I was talking with my soulmate about this a little while ago, is uh, for a lot of people they, they who think that they're on top of the pile of, of, of life understand it this way. Uh, Earth English, Earth language of any form is very primitive compared to a lot of other civilizations across a multi-dimensional multi-universe and in some situation they tolerate us but they rather use other areas because it's the difference between going uh and talking at that 33 to third rpm remember lps while they're able to talk uh not faster but put through so much more information it's the difference between the 33 and a, and, and the third rpm uh, LP uh, record playing versus that same one playing at 78 RPM. They'd be able to clearly understand it because they can pass so much information in a so much faster manner versus us. So we are in a lot of these situations now we're, we're, we're going to have to be able to understand, to be able to express that we have to raise our vibration. We have to raise our frequencies. We have to raise 
the intellect and, and the greater awakening the inner spirit to be able to better understand uh, the discernments between the deceptions between the different species because there's a lot of species out there that really rah, 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 don't get along and a lot of this goes back a very long time but yet there's others it's just a matter of disinformation they're not getting along it's almost like the Hatfields and McCoys for peace sakes it's almost it's almost like the different vibrations some of them much higher than ours still discernment I mean not discernment but but still disagreements of, amongst them you know once again just because you know we may think well we're th three-dimensional well we're so much better and all than the uh, no because of the disinformation that we've been taught in the different uh, religions and and not all of them but in, in, in a lot of the different beliefs but but here here we have in in in, in a situation to to understand that because we talk and function at a certain rate that doesn't make us better than anyone else of different off-world beings no matter which way you're going to cut the cut the cake here it just makes it this works for us this does not mean this will work for those out on that star system or that star system or that star system or that star system it is what works for us within this uh cyclical clock of lives and that that we have for the earth system of, of planets primarily for us would be uh the, the cyclical parts of this planet's and its gravity well all right so remember my friends work to build yourselves work to to connect with the inner spirit to truly awaken with within to be able to understand then uh, as as you grow as you flower outwards to be able to uh, to 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 touch to feel to experience to witness to uh, take charge of your reality upon which you exist here on the planet earth with seven billion plus other beings and and we work on this we will be able to then interact more consciously with other off-world beings of the many different variations some that we stay away from and others we need uh, to be able to grow to be able to uh, grow in partnership to grow in, in, in harmonics with them this is Groovy Up